Welcome to Postcards to the Universe with Melissa Caprio. Do you believe in magic? What if you were told that all you had to do was get a little creative and work a magic spell to bring anything you can imagine into your life? Here on Postcards to the Universe, we will share manifesting, tips, postcards, creativity, abundance, and prosperity. Here is your host, Melissa Caprio. Hey guys, and welcome to Postcards to the Universe with Melissa, creating the life you crave. It's Wednesday. How's everybody doing? It's my favorite day of the week. I love doing my show and talking to all the wonderful guests that like to come on and spend some time with me. I really appreciate that. And today I have authors of Sacred Geometry, the Universal Language of Divine, Gregory and Gail Hogue. And they're going to join me in just a couple of minutes. Um, To my regulars, I just want to say thank you for returning each week. And I so appreciate you. And I love getting your um, emails and your messages that you enjoy the show. And I hope you keep coming back and sharing it with your friends. And if you're new to the show, I want to say welcome. Uh, Just FYI, so you know, we do record the show live, but anytime after the live show, you can listen to the archives or the replay on Ohm Times Radio in the archives or on my website, postcardstotheuniverse.com. I put each show up on the podcast and you can go back and listen to some of my previous shows. They all have the description, so if anything of interest, you know, jumps out at you, please take a listen and hopefully you'll keep returning. Also, a little bit about me. I'm an author. I'm a photographer. I have a book. It's titled Postcards to the Universe, Harness the Universe's Power and Manifest Your Dreams. And it's all about manifesting using uh, the law of attraction and co-creating with the universe. And I have people create manifesting postcards, which are kind of like a mini vision board. And they send me the postcard. And when their manifestation shows up in the reality, we share their story. So the book has 30 of those in it. And we talk about manifesting in the areas of love. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Um, Career, money, health, you know, all the things that we want to bring more abundance into our life, um, the main areas. So it's got a bunch of fun um, um, exercises to manifest in those areas in each chapter, and also some writing exercises that helps us get really clear on what it is that we want to bring into our life. So hopefully you'll check it out. What I started doing is I started doing live readings from the book, and they're short videos, uh, five minutes long approximately, so you can follow along on Instagram, TikTok, I put them up on uh, LinkedIn and YouTube also, and I share the images of that I took from the book also in the videos, but what I started doing is I started re-photographing all of the postcards in the book very differently than the way I shared it when I released the book. Since uh, the pandemic, I changed the way I photograph the postcards. So I, it's fun re going back to them and re-photographing them and sharing them with you. And each week, there's an affirmation that is attached to the postcard. And this week's is there's healing in helping others. And I believe that 100%. I feel like when we give our time or attention or our love or our compassion or even physical help to those in need. It really heals us in so many ways. And you might not even realize it at the moment, but you feel it. um, If you think about it, you'll feel it deep within your body about how you have helped somebody else and how that really heals your heart. So think about that when you're offering help and support to those you love, right? I mean, the world needs more love. And today, like I said, it's Valentine's Day. It's the day of love. So spread the love around. And it doesn't have to be romantic. You can spread the love to your family, your pets, your friends, your coworkers, whomever you feel the desire to do that with. And just be kind. We could all use some of that. Okay, so a couple things I'm doing is I'm doing a couple workshops. Uh, The last uh, 
I only have a couple more days for this workshop. It's being held on Saturday, and it's called Put Your Wishes to Work and Manifest the Life You Desire. It's on the 17th, 1 to 4 p.m. Eastern Time. It's online, and we're going to be creating a manifesting postcard. So if you're interested, uh, please sign up for that. Like I said, it's only a few more days away. I hope to see you there, but I do have another workshop that is a rotating workshop, and it's called Manifesting Through Gratitude, A Visual Journey. And we're going to be focusing on gratitude. It's five weeks, Thursday evening, 6 to 8 p.m. Like I said, it's online also, so you can do it from the comfort of your home. And we're focusing on, yeah, gratitude. Because I have found, personally, and I know I'm not the only one, that when you are living in gratitude, more things come to you to be grateful for. So we're going to be using our camera phones as a tool in manifesting gratitude. So at the end of the course, you'll have a beautiful gratitude journal filled with images, right? So that's a nice little twist on it. Being a photographer, I like to use uh, photographs as part of my spiritual work, and I want to share that with you guys. So you can find out about the workshops. They're on my website, postcardstotheuniverse.com. If you have any questions, just reach out and ask me. I'm an open book. Okay, so let me get to my guests. Let me tell you a little bit about them. Gregory and Gail Hogue are a rare fusion of consciousness and love with over four decades of dedicated expertise in the realm of sacred geometry. They have illuminated the path to transformation, health, heightened awareness, stress reduction, and the removal of electromagnetic interference. Their visionary contributions extend beyond theory. Gail Gail and Gregory have pioneered groundbreaking technologies that have touched lives across the globe, from their creation of energetic chambers to the development of intricate geometric grids. They have harnessed the power of sacred geometry to amplify planetary energies and elevate the human experience. Their book, Sacred Geometry, the Universal Language of Divine, beckons both newcomers and seasoned seekers on a vivid voyage into the heart of reality's concealed enigmas. This book is your key to unlocking the secrets vital for our survival and spiritual evolution. In a world where challenges often appear insurmountable, where climate change serves as an urgent reminder of a deeper crisis, there exists a beacon of hope, a profound wisdom concealed within the timeless realm of sacred geometry. And if you want to know more about them, please visit their website. I'm going to spell it out for you since we're on radio. It's um, I-C-O-N-N-E-C-T the number two, all.com. It's iconnecttoall.com. Welcome, both of you, Gregory and Gail. Thanks for being here with me today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Melissa. And it's really fun to hear all the wonderful things you're doing as well. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Gregory. What'd you say? I didn't mean to cut you off. What'd you say? No, that's okay. I'm... <laughs> myself off today because I just have a little bit of a hang on of an illness but it's mm. good so. that's good Good to hear. No, no worries. It's this time of year. Everybody I know and their brother seriously has had something in the last couple of months. So I really appreciate you joining me. So we're going to start with the, the obvious question because many people might not be familiar with what is sacred geometry. Well, that's a great place to start, Melissa. And I always like to kind of give an overview that's a little more simple. And that is okay. that, you know, when, when you look at everything out in our universe, it all begins with just pure energy, formless mm -hmm. energy. And, you know, all the scientists tell us that everything is energy, that even though we're so familiar with looking at, like, dense things, you know, like we look at the physical, but actually it's only a very small part of what is. Almost, you know, almost all of what is out there is space, is energy. And isn't it interesting that we spend so much of our time thinking about what is 
what we think is in front of us, what we can see, what we can feel, what we can touch. But there's so much beyond that. So our work helps people to reach those other dimensions. So let's talk about with sacred geometry when we... So I began talking about how everything starts out as energy, and then it Mm -hmm. comes into form. It comes into, you know, the way that our bodies are shaped, everything out in nature. You walk down a road and you see beautiful trees, plants, Um, You see animals, you see all kinds of things, and there is a very specific way that it's all created. There is rhythm and pattern and cycle and ways that form emerges from this energy. And so we call this sacred geometry. It's a very sacred journey, actually, you know, going from energy into Mm -hmm. form. And so when you look out and you see the way um, flowers are created. There's certain shapes that we see over and over again. There's certain numbers in the pattern. Mm-hmm. Um, and you go back historically, and you see how ancient temples were constructed. The ancients understood that if they could follow the way that things naturally form, they would create mm-hmm. something. People would feel more attuned to, them, to their lives, to, to everything that is, to their creativity and their intuition and to their spiritual body. And so sacred geometry sort of encompasses all of these things, and it helps us to be able to be not just physical people but souls who have come into a physical body who are living truly on a multidimensional level. And the more that we understand it, the more we can move into that, that realm where we understand how to be creative, we understand how to manifest, because mm-hmm. it's constantly manifesting in these absolutely beautiful and magical ways. So mm, that's interesting. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Gregory. Say that, you know, everything in the universe follows these patterns like Gail is talking about. And there Mm -hmm. are arcs that is kind of like deep architectural ways in which the moon, the earth, the sun follow particular patterns and geometries. And when we find those geometries, which we've written about in our book, and bring them into an environment, they can start to resonate with energy. It's like being in nature, as Gail said, when you are around trees and the brook and flowers and birds, you feel that connection. You feel the depth of something much, much bigger than yourself. And it's really that natural way of being that we experience in nature. And we can bring that same experience into our lives where we're surrounded by all these computers, by the toxins in the environment, by the stresses of our daily life, the fears that are going on in the world today. All of those things disconnect us from higher self disconnect us from our soul and yet when we are in a space that is vibrating with what's Mm -hmm. natural and real it's easier for us to be in a space that's natural and real and so sacred geometry is the geometries of creation that actually move energy and we can bring the movement of that energy into our lives. So, so much of what you're working with, with helping people Mm -hmm. manifest, you know, helping people open themselves up with gratitude, all of these experiences are getting the vibrational rate of our body moved to a higher level. 
And we do that when we bring in love or gratitude. And the interesting thing is, is that when Gail said we're multidimensional, that means things like our thoughts exist on mm -hmm. another you know, we can't really see them, but they do exist on a fourth dimensional level and our, or the thoughts on a fifth dimensional level and our emotional body. That exists on another dimensional level, too. And when things are not aligned on those higher levels, it blocks that higher love from coming through. And so that's something to start to realize is that human beings on their own are just working with a world where sometimes fear is the main motivator for having us do things and it's blocking out that higher mm -hmm. love that wants to come through from soul so that's why when we bring in gratitude and love we can start to overcome the fear in this environment that blocks us from manifesting what we want to manifest. Mm, yeah. Well, that's the that's the thing. So like when when people like making the postcard is just fun, right? It's fun. People put down the things that they want, just like vision boarding. You you think of all those things, but it's that's not really what it's about, right? It's about being in the frequency to match what it is that you want to turn into form in your life, right? What you want to show up as form. So for example, if it is, let's use since it's Valentine's Day, it's a relationship, a romantic relationship that you want. You have to be in that frequency to manifest into form that kind of relationship. If you don't think that you deserve it, it's not going to manifest or it will be somebody who um, isn't somebody that you necessarily would want to be in relationship with, right? That's what shows up for you if you feel unworthy of, of the love that it is you want. So using the postcards is just a fun tool to, for people to start thinking about how do I shift my thoughts? How do I shift my emotions? How do I raise my frequency to bring in those things that we want? So how, in the work you do with the sacred geometry, how does that, how would you use those tools, let's say, to, we'll, we'll do relationships since, like I said, it's Valentine's Day. Why not? Let's, let's use relationships as an example. Well, to begin with, it shifts your frequency without any thought or any mm. work or part to begin with. For example, we have pendants that we wear that have over 35 antenna systems inside mm. that are designed to pick up on these higher frequencies, on these higher mm. energies. And what happens is for example, one woman um, whose grandmother said, what I love about my pendant is that my grandchildren used to run away from me when I visited. Now when I'm wearing the pendant, they crawl all over me. And, hmm. you know, so much fun to see what happens with children, with animals, because it's not like a placebo effect where they go, oh, my grandma's wearing a pendant, that must make a difference. They couldn't care less. They're attracted to the energy. And there are people that, uh, for example, this one gentleman who works as a guard in a prison, and he said, whenever I have this tool that we've made in my pocket, the, tri the prisoners treat me differently. They're nicer hmm. to me. And so it's just your field starts to shift, which makes it so much easier for all the things that you're talking about. Hmm. It's like automatically, you 
start creating a life that happens more rapidly because you're in that vibration. You're in a space where love is the default that you are starting to vibrate with all the time rather than something that you're searching for or trying to create in your life. Hmm. You, you know, Mer- Melissa, one mm-hmm. of the things really came through to us in our book as we were um, looking at these different archetypes and defining more about how energy works and how it comes into form and, and how the form really um, really touches everything, everything in the universe. It's designed for that because, you know, everything is formed with consciousness as what holds it together. That is the context. And you know what that context of consciousness is? It's love. This is a universe that is absolutely created through love. Mm -hmm. And it's fake that children are born through something that we call lovemaking. Right. (laughs) Which is what today is all about is something that we want to get back to, to create more of those intrinsic connections. Because when we're connected to the universe, a loving universe, then we relax, we open up. Our intuitions Mm -hmm. really operate. Our creativity, you know, is just really triggered. We have that frequency that you were just talking about before that attracts those kinds of people so that you can build a relationship that's a healthy relationship, that's joyful, that's fun, that's, you know, that can really support your life in a, in a beautiful way. So, you know, I think that, you know, what, what a lot of the tools, we've, we're, <laughs> we have over 40 years developed all of these different geometrically based Tools and mm-hmm. tools created to make life easier, right? I mean, the reason like you have um, a dishwasher is because it makes it easier, so you don't have to scrub each dish, but instead you have something that does it for you. And so the tools that we have, what they really do is they create that kind of alignment, that resonance, so that it is helping you maintain the connection. And when you're in that field of connection, the energy naturally flows. It supports you. It nourishes you. It offers you everything that you want. And just like, you know, when you are in a beautiful place in nature and you're, you're looking out at a garden filled with beautiful flowers, ah, you, you breathe differently. Your body looks and feels differently. Everything operates differently. And what we've really worked on doing all these years is creating these different tools that support us in those kinds of moments with those connections so that we can live more of who we're really capable of being. Hmm. Yeah. So I'm glad you brought up tools. Can you share a little bit about, for people listening who are not really understanding what a sacred geometry tool would be, what kind of tools do you guys um, recommend or share or have created that would help us get into this frequency alignment? Well, like I was describing, we have a pendant. And... Mm -hmm. This pendant has particular geometries that we found a way of taking three-dimensional geometry and creating a two-dimensional system that's flat so it can pick up on the three-dimensional energy. And we have circuits in there. And we have uh, fiber optic material. We have different shapes. Uh, circuit boards and vibrating crystals. We create all of this together, and so as a total, it becomes a tool. And, you know, Mm -hmm. just like 
uh, a hammer I could give you. You might um, build a house with it. You might Mm -hmm. walnut. You might hit your thumb, and it's not the hammer's fault. A tool Mm. can be powering, and some of these tools are geometries that are particular shapes, and some of them can be six, seven inches across or a number of feet, and some of them we make are big enough for people to go inside of where they're eight, ten feet tall. Mm. It's a geometry, but because it's following a pattern that has been set already in the way everything in creation works, when we go into that pattern, we start to feel a vibration. And we can use that vibration to shift our feel, to shift our health, our emotional health, our mental health, our physical health. They are all connected. And, you know, science gives us that feedback more and more that stress, Mm -hmm. we go through stress, it triggers a lot of potential disease in our body. When we have a lot of emotions that are negative, that are caught in our body and not moving, they can develop into disease. And so by having an energy is natural that starts to flow through our body, it can release these blockages that we're hanging on to with the emotions and with this stress. And that allows us to be in a healthier, stronger state of being. But it's mm, a I, way of okay. to it as cool. Before we continue, I don't mean to cut you off, but I just looked at the time and we're at our break time. So let's take our break here. And I want to continue the conversation because I am now really starting to understand. So stay tuned, everybody. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Conscious Media for Conscious Minds. Ohm Times. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Everyone has a story. I have a story. You have a story. We all have a story. As I see it, you have three choices. Allow your story to define you, use it to excuse you, or utilize it as a method to empower you. It's your life. You have the power. You choose. Rewrite your story on finduniquelyyou.com. My name is Victor Furman. Some call me The Voice. I've always been fascinated with human nature, spirituality, science, and the crossroads at which they meet. Join me Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio, and we'll explore these topics and so much more on Destination Unlimited. Ascending Hearts is no ordinary dating site but a spiritual dating site with a purpose to link you with your soulmate. We engineer the serendipity so you can trust that you will attune with someone that has the same matching vibration as you. Ascending Hearts, the conscious dating site for the spiritually aware. Try Ascending Hearts for free. AscendingHearts.com Hi. I'm Melissa Caprio from Postcards to the Universe, creating the life you crave. Do you believe in magic? What if I told you all you had to do was get a little creative and work a dream spell to bring anything you can imagine into your life? Well, guess what? I've got the spell for you. Postcards to the Universe, a global movement for manifestation, is a casting magical tool for you to use whenever you want. How does living in passion sound to you? Join me in my movement where you get to create in the magical playground. Let's think outside the box and do some playful conjuring. 
By casting out our desires with a manifesting postcard, we explore our hearts and allow the alchemy of our dreams to appear. And don't forget to tune in each week here on Ohm Times Radio with my show, Postcards to the Universe, Creating the Life You Crave at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. I share tips on creativity, abundance, and prosperity, and you will be introduced to the coolest guests, trailblazers, mystics, and creatives who enrich our lives. Hey everybody and welcome back. If you're just joining me, I have Gregory and Gail Hogan and we're talking about uh, a lot from their book, Sacred Geometry, the Universal Language of Divine Alignment. And um, you guys were talking about um, the tools before the break, which are very fascinating. And I was looking at your website during the break, so I kind of understand now some of the pendants and the things that you would um, have in your possession that would help you physically tune into the frequencies of the, the universe. Is that like a simple way to say it? I'm trying to like say it so simply so people can understand. I think you did a great job, Melissa. Okay. And, and, you know... <laughs> Um, the, the tools are very, they're very visual. So sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, on a video show, it's a little hard to describe. And right. Like, but the best thing is just what you did to go take a look. And what we've done over all these years is, again, it's like it's very much derived from nature, from understanding mm-hmm. the everything is created. Because that's how we get into that resonance with what works. You know, nature works. You know Mm -hmm. that, you know, we have certain seasons. You know that you can plant in springtime so that you have a harvest during the summer. There's things that we recognize that we can depend on. And so all of these things help us with maintaining the connection to be creative beings. And I love that, you know, you're very much into manifesting and creating because sometimes we forget because I think, unfortunately, in our education, it's often been a bit drilled out of us that we are creative Mm -hmm. beings. And I have a background as an artist, so I, I know what it feels like to have really fought for that place of being creative and not being, um, not worrying about how people see it. I believe I have a gift, and when we're creative, we have beautiful gifts to give. And when we're in relationship with the universe and we see how things just manifest in these absolutely magnificent and magical ways, we can follow the pathways. So our tools, what's really Mm -hmm. interesting, I think, about them is that the first time that I saw some of the geometries that you probably saw when uh, you went into our website was um, about 38 years ago when I met my husband, Gregory. And I was um, in a house that I was setting up an art studio in, and he had just sold it to a friend of mine. And he was in the garage holding this box of these geometries. And I looked at these geometries and I went, oh, that's really interesting because I had been reading books by Buckminster Fuller, who was a brilliant, brilliant being. And he was the one who created the geodesic dome and a lot of other. He was an amazing philosopher, thinker, inventor. And he saw things in very geometric patterns. He saw that the, what he called the tetrahedron, which is a three-dimensional um, triangle is a cornerstone of the way that energy works. How mm-hmm. it comes in. It, it, it's the co- most compact use of energy. And so here were all of these different geometries with these tetrahedrons. And what was really interesting is that I put my hand like above some of these geometries that he had in this box. Mm-hmm. By golly, I could feel them. And mm-hmm. so yeah. that's when I realized these aren't just metaphorical. They actually have a physiological effect. 
just like, yeah. you know, you walk into a, a cathedral, for instance, it's constructed and it's meant to be a place where you can elevate your consciousness. You can feel that relationship with God, spirit, whatever you call that higher dimension. So there are ways that people all through history have been using to help people connect to the higher aspects of who they are. And so our mission truly has been to support people in everyday ways to have those kinds of tools. And we have a whole realm of different kinds of tools that we've developed that range for things for healing and things for, um, you know, just being more centered and connected. Uh, we have a geometry that we call the 5G solution because a lot mm -hmm. of people were feeling that the vibration, the energies of all of these 5Gs and uh, mm -hmm. all the is is hard on us, and it is. Those are really rough on our bodies and our souls. And so we have something that you can't block the radiation because if you did block 5Gs, then we wouldn't be able to use our computers and cell phones and Internet and all those things. But what instead we always talk about is it's about connecting, not blocking. If you're thinking about protection, you're thinking about something in a way that is fear-based, where connection is soul-based. So it's the soul -based. more that develop the connective yeah. pathway, that's really where it's at. That's what works better than anything. So all of our technology is based on mm -hmm. those principles. Yeah, it's fascinating if you think about it. I mean, obviously, sacred geometry was used by the ancients to build the pyramids, and <laughs> I mean, just if you look at if you look at history and and how certain how certain structures were placed, it's phenomenal, right? What they were using. So, um, but I want to know like how we can use the sacred geometry and the technology to help transform our lives because we did hit on about how stress and what. Stress does to us and how can we improve our health and 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 be prosperous in our life how can we use your technology or this technology for that that you teach that you share <laughs> I don't want to say it's your technology because I know you didn't invent the technology but you're you're utilizing the technology and you're sharing it with others actually some many aspects of it which we talk about in our book have been discovered by us Mm, great. Yeah. Share that. Share that. Please. Yeah, well, I'd love to hear about that. For example, three-dimensional geometries mm -hmm. are, are, exist in the same realm as we exist in. And so they pick up and carry energy. Two-dimensional mm -hmm. um, geometries, like you find in a book, they really exist not just in that book, but in you reading that book, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. When you yeah. look at a two-dimensional uh, geometry, you are giving it its life. You are giving it its meaning and its energy. Your thought form, your thought form has energy. But yes. three-dimensional geometries have more, much more energy because they exist here and they can reach into the higher dimensional realm. So what we've done is we found a way where each three-dimensional geometry has at least three perspectives where you can project it onto a flat surface and mm -hmm. it becomes a perfect pattern, a geometry. You know, you can think of something like a cube, that's easier to imagine mm -hmm. just about anything. If you project the face side, you get a square. If mm -hmm. you project the edge, you get a rectangle that's in a very precise proportion. One side is in the square root of two to the other side. And it has two smaller rectangles that also have that same square root of two perspective. 
or you could look at the point of the cube and then when you project that on a flat surface you have a hexagon and so many of us if we have a hexagon and draw lines from the the corners up into the center we our mind kind of reads it as a cube even though mm -hmm. it's flat hexagon with lines on it but if we have those three perspectives on a made out of a metal and we use gold in our pendants such that it conducts energy and it's on a non-conductive background you surround mm -hmm. it circle because a circle brings unity into mm -hmm. whatever's center and we spend a lot of time in our book talking about how that circle is a way of describing soul describing god the it's a symbol for the highest things that we do a circle with a dot in the center is the astrological sign for the sun or for gold and so by working with these perspectives on our on the outside of the pendant mm -hmm. with geometries we can draw upon three-dimensional geometries and their energy in this flat little pendant that won't poke someone when you hug them because it's it's small and 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 it's all condensed but that was a discovery of ours of how to move that higher dimensional energy mm -hmm. in and many of the geometries that we work with because i opened up to these geometries when i went through a lot of kundalini um mm -hmm. over 45 um in the late 70s so over 45 years ago and that kundalini started moving energy through my body where i started being able to communicate with higher dimensional beings mm -hmm. interesting that Where? So for I don't mean to cut you off just because I just want people who are listening to really understand cuz I think I understand what you're saying but so for those who are like okay so I understand what he's talking about with dependence and the creating and the sides but how does that help me I think that's what people need to hear like how having access to that personally would help somebody who's listening today who's dealing let's say with health issues. And so that's a really great rack to get on to right now because when it gets down to it that's really what we want. You know, right. we've done all kinds of scientific research but of other people don't need to do that. So but what we found is that these it you know we we you know we mentioned frequency before. In mm -hmm. order to have this kind of frequency we needed to create a you know certain kinds of structures certain dimensions to follow certain ratios and patterns and when we do that we're in harmony with the way that universe works it's really kind okay. of that simple so when you're in harmony then uh -huh. you know things it's like when when you know there are days when you just feel like oh gosh everything is just setting up so well there's a harmonic okay. there's a frequency there's a vibration whatever you want to call it there's a mindset that you're in that just works and so you're humming along now it doesn't happen all the time right sure so what our tools really help people do is rather than having those situations where you fear it feel in sync be the rare way that your life works it becomes more of the major way that your life works because mm support those divine connections. Those connections are what supports us. Yeah, it's like plugging into the universe. Your tools help you plug in. Because it's like if I want to turn on my computer, I have to basically plug it in, right? Or it's not going to work. <laughs> so, so using your geom your sacred geometry is helping me personally plug into the frequencies of the universe so that I could help to, to align myself. You have to that on button, right? Because if you're right. there and you haven't turned right. it on, nothing exactly. Okay, so I got it. That 
that on is you connecting with it consciously. So, like, for instance, mm. people buy the pendant. I, you know, we tell them to start with, put the pendant between your hands, you know, and uh-huh. adjacent to your heart, and connect with, with, you know, what it is that's really important in your life. Really get that soul connection blossoming. And, and then it becomes, in some ways, it's like a touchstone, but it's also operating. It's working. So, you know, just to have a, quick, a few quick stories, mm-hmm. but so many people who have shared with us how their life just starts working after they've mm. got, they start meeting the right people. You know, if they've been in a relationship that hasn't been working, it just sort of falls apart. There are things mm-hmm. that happen. Yeah. You know, there's something that we call serendipity. And we think mm-hmm. that serendipity is like what, you know, it's sort of an occasional thing. It's unusual. Well, we believe that serendipity is the way that we're designed to be, that we're supposed to have that kind of alignment so that things happen all the time. Um, we, you know, we've had people that have talked to us about how in a relationship that having the pendant supports them in being able to take that moment to connect, to take that breath, so that they're not just reacting on automatic pilot. Instead, they're, they're taking that, that the space to connect with the higher part of who they are. So, you know, it's, it's really giving mm-hmm. us the, to be more of who we are. And it happens over and over again. We've even had people, I remember there was this, this always tickled me, there was this woman who let us know that she had gotten this pendant, and she was a realtor, and she had been working on this million-dollar project for, like, a couple of years, and she just couldn't get it to resolve. Yeah. Got the yeah. Pendant, and within just a day or two, it all came together. Now, was it the pendant? Well, the pendant supported her in her Mm. action, in her resonance, in her ability to be able to do what was really right there for her to do. But she was sidestepping it because we live in a world of a lot of distractions. And the more that we're able to be here now, be present, the better it is for us all. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That helps a lot because I think that's what people need to try to understand, you know, because it is hard when you, when you were, we're talking on radio. So you, we have no visuals to show. People have to go to see. So, so for people to kind of really grasp, okay, well, what is a pendant going to do for me? Right? Like what is geometry? How's that going to help me? People like really want to go right to that. That's what, that's what they want to understand. But now I think we've described it where it's much easier to grasp. Now, I have a question. Is there such a thing as sound frequency using sacred geometry? Because I've been listening to like sound frequencies a lot in the last few years. Is that possible? Or is it, is it something that you have to see visually, hold visually, either be inside of it and be in the geometry for it to tap into the frequency? No. Not at all. They're, they're separate, and yet they're both very much the same. Where okay. We have certain geometries that when you speak through them, put vibration through them, it raises the vibration, and people can mm. actually hear it, discern it, because they work together. And so sound can be used in miraculous ways for healing and to bring it together with geometry they can reinforce each other so Hmm. in some of the healing tools that we make that you can move over the body this one for example a woman's back was um, her back was out and she was in a fair amount of pain so we held this one geometry in front of her, you know, back, Mm -hmm. in front of her spine, and then we took a drum, and one hit on the drum going through the geometry aligned her spine. 
It just wow. went to. It mm-hmm. almost says that energy of the sound combined with the energy that was being modulated by the geometry and her body fell in alignment, in tune, if you will, with what its natural order was. And so the way we're constructed, we're really meant to connect to higher Mm -hmm. self, soul. And I think all the energy flowing from soul into the physical, all the things that go off in the physical that aren't working, the things we call disease, the things we call Mm -hmm. negative emotions, the things we call um, stress and sadness and all these difficulties, they often are a reflection of blocking that energy flow from source, from higher And when everything flows, then we are in perfect order and we're connected. And when we're not connected, then Mm -hmm. problems go up. And so where we often need to discover, okay, where are we off in our lives? My sickness is showing me what I need to focus on. My whatever, it's showing me where to make my next postcard to the universe Mm -hmm. so I Mm -hmm. know how to communicate. You know, universe is communicating with sometimes we feel the lack of connection being expressed and let's get connected again so that I feel good, so that my life is together, so that relationship is working. But if my relationship isn't working, I shouldn't look at my partner first. I always need to look at myself first. How am I connected? How am I flowing? How am I working? Hmm. So can, um, I imagine the answer is going to be yes, but I'm going to ask it. Can you use the tools from sacred geometry to help um, healing things in our emotional body, like anger, resentment, jealousy, bitterness, um, sadness, loneliness, you know, whatever people are feeling on a regular basis? Absolutely. Again, it's like all of these are helping to create an energetic field that supports you. And okay. when you're feeling supported, then you don't have to try to defend yourself, you know, to mm-hmm. um, don't have fear that you're combating. Instead, you're able to relax. You're able to breathe. And the other thing is it's about being present. When we're really present, because, you know, the truth is mm-hmm. that all of our life is in the present moment. Even though mm-hmm. we have a brain that wants to keep telling us about all the things that might have happened before or that we might right. have happened before. But the reality is yeah. here in this present moment. And so all of the tools that we create support people in being present and full right now, in allowing that flow of spirit, of soul to be the embodiment in their life. And then things mm. just work. So, and they work. So that, right. So I hope you answered your question. <laughs> you did. You did. You did answer my question. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Is there, I can't believe we only have a couple of minutes. Is there anything that we didn't really cover that you feel is really important to mention about the work that you both do? Well, I, I'd love people to check out our website that you mentioned earlier. I connect to all.com and we have a, a page that's for our book as well if they want to learn more about mm-hmm. our book. Um, so that page is I connect to all.com slash book. It's also available on Amazon and um, it's an Amazon bestseller. Um, mm, congrats. And, you know, we are just, we've been doing this work for a lot of years. Everything that we make is lovingly handmade. It's not anything that we, you know, go off and Mm -hmm. making. We, you know, it's very artistically and beautifully made as well. Mm. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, go ahead. 
when you were talking about all these negative emotions, mm -hmm. people need to realize is the body has come into the physical realm and it's all about protecting itself. And so mm. all the negative emotions are really aspects of only one emotion and this is the only emotion that the body creates and that is fear. Yeah. So the sadness, the anger, the guilt, mm -hmm. all of that mm -hmm. is from a fear and it surrounds our body and blocks the love from higher self from coming through. And right. so what the pendants and these tools do, they resonate with that love, that higher vibration, and make it easier for the body to connect to it when the love is being blocked by the fear. So. Mm. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Thank you guys both. Thank you, Gregory and Gail. It was such a pleasure talking to you both today. And guys, check them out on their website and Sacred Geometry. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for listening to Postcards to the Universe with Melissa, creating the life you crave. And I'm wishing everyone a wonderful week filled with joy, abundance, and love. Peace.